today we're making apple pie in a mug. So if you don't want to spend, you know, two, three hours making a, a homemade apple pie, which is absolutely delicious, you don't have the time or you don't want to spend the time, try this recipe. This is only going to take you maybe 15 minutes to put together. It's an individual serving, or you could make a couple, and uh, it is delicious. It, it will satisfy that craving. The apple filling in this is spiced up with that cinnamon, which is just so good. And then it has a topping that is more cake-like. Now I'm using natural sugars in this and low carb. I'm also going to sneak in a little bit of collagen powder. Now that's optional. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you all the details right after our chef joke. All right, here's chef joke number one. That means that there might be another one a little bit later. What kind of an apple is not an apple? A pineapple. So to start off our recipe, you're probably wondering, well, what kind of apples could, should I use? Well, you can use pretty much anything you want, although I don't particularly like delicious apples for this recipe. And when I make an apple pie, I usually use Granny Smiths or Pippins if you can find them. But in this case, any of the other apples will do. Um, today I'm gonna use a Fuji. You're also gonna need a microwavable mug. So I like to use bigger than I need so that in case it decides to bubble over in the microwave, you don't have a big mess. This mug holds about 12 ounces, but for our video, I'm also gonna be using this smaller one just so you can see the ingredients a little bit better. Okay, so you're gonna start off by peeling your apples. You wanna core them and just slice them down. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And it's about one apple per mug. So we'll go ahead and peel our apples and then I'll slice them into small pieces. Now to the apples in the mug, I'm gonna add a little bit less than a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. To this, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of applesauce. This is unsweetened applesauce. So to the cup, I'm going to add a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And feel free to sub in any alternative sugars that you like to use. And I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of arrowroot, or you can add cornstarch if you don't have that. And that's going to thicken this up just a little bit so it has more of a little bit thicker sauce. Then you're going to take a spoon and stir that up. So we're gonna put this in the microwave on high for about a minute. We're gonna start with our topping and I have some coconut flour, just a little bit. Almond flour, we're gonna put all our dry ingredients in the bowl first. Baking powder, that's gonna help it rise a little. Just a touch of coconut sugar, just a little teaspoon of that. We don't want too much. And this is my collagen powder. Sneak that in there. And my cinnamon. I got just a little bit of cinnamon here for a little flavor. And we want to mix that up. Once that's combined, then we're going to add all of our wet ingredients. So first up is I have some mashed banana here. And that's going to give our Topping some sweetness and a little, just a little bit of apple sauce. Next is just a little touch of vanilla extract, which also enhances the sweetness. And some melted butter. Lots of good flavors going on in here. And I don't want to forget, I just a, just a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to start off by mixing this up and we're going to be adding some almond milk just to get it to mix in. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of almond milk to this to start. And that looks real good to me. So we get all that mixed up together and we're going to place this on top of our apples. All right, we're gonna pop this in the microwave on high for two minutes and then we'll check and see how, how it's doing. All right, I'm gonna sneak in another chef joke for you. What kind of apples throw the best parties? Gala apples. 
Now when you take it out after two minutes, you're going to want to see the sides of the crust pulling away from the side of the mug. And sometimes you have to cook it a little bit longer, so you might want to go maybe another 30 seconds or maybe even another minute. So check this cake topping out. It's somewhat cake-like, but it's also can be kind of gooey as well, depending on how you like it. If you like it more cake-like, cook it a little bit on the longer side. And if you like it a little more gooey, go for the shorter cooking time. Overall, that cinnamony flavor is awesome. Now maybe you want to try a whole apple pie. Well, I've got the recipe for you. My best apple pie recipe is amazing with its flaky crust and cinnamony apple goodness in, on the inside. You're going to love it. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me and we'll see you next time.